The Russian ruble fell to a new all-time low against the US dollar. The Russian currency broke the symbolic point of 40 rubles to the dollar before recovering later. It's been falling all year amid low oil prices, capital flight from Russia and Western sanctions due to the Ukraine crisis. Internet users in Tajikistan were unable to access more than 200 websites, including Facebook, YouTube and other social media. Russian and Tajik news outlets suggested it was a government crackdown after social media were used to plan an opposition protest in Dushanbe on October the 10th. Similar accusations have often been levelled at the Tajik authorities, but officials denied that websites were being blocked. In Pakistan, a three-day public holiday for Eid al-Adha began. In Islamabad, the capital, the main celebrations were held at the Faisal Mosque, where large numbers joined prayers. Government offices and businesses were closed, while people slaughtered sacrificial animals. In northern Pakistan, including the city of Peshawar and the adjacent tribal areas, Eid was celebrated the previous day. In the Kazakh city of Almaty, prominent human rights activist Galam Agaleev called for a referendum on government plans to join the Russian-led Eurasian Economic Union. Speaking at a news conference, he voiced his opposition to the plans. The union, made up of Russia, Belarus and Kazakhstan, is due to officially start functioning on January the 1st, 2015. And that's the video roundup from Radio Free Europe, Radio Liberty. Thank you.